Well, good morning, everyone. I was scrolling through my Play Amazon, button. and I came across this. We want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology of the Trump insurgency audible or goatable audiobook on a bridge. Heading one. In political intelligence, number number one new release. In, pol in political intelligence, number one new release, ain't see all formats and editions. Link. Okay, so this book was fed to me by my Amazon account um, because I've read Laptop from Hell and a bunch of other books in political genre. But this is not the political genre that I read because this is left-wing hate, left-wing heresy, political bashing, lies, and treachery. Play audible sample. Let's listen Button. to the audible sample. Amazon.com. They want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology of the Trump insurgency. Audible audio edition. Malcolm Nance, Ari Flybos, and Melon Audio Books. Resistance. Webview. As predicted, they started with an act of blatant insurrection. Based on Trump's seditious words, his supporters attacked the U.S. Capitol building on January 6, 2021, with the intent to stop the certification of the election by force. Most came to storm the building and to stop the vote. Others may have come to hunt and possibly kill Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Only a miracle in the bravery of the Capitol Hill and Washington, D.C. police officers prevented there being more than the five deaths that resulted that day. They did not. In my role as a counterterrorism expert on MSNBC News, I have a track record of offering well-grounded warnings based on intelligence analyses that have proved uncanny in their accuracy. There is a reason for that. As an intelligence professional, I don't guess. My work is years ahead of most media investigations because I collect hard data and analyze events through the lens of my 30 plus years of intelligence community experience. My career in monitoring, tracking, and destroying foreign threats to America gives me the ability to call out risks and incoming challenges that might not reveal themselves easily to others. That body of knowledge and a natural alacrity at detecting the right pattern means I identify risks faster, more accurately, and with greater depth than the average journalist or amateur web sleuth. In July 2016, I was the first person in U.S. news media to warn that the United States was under attack through a massive political warfare operation using foreign disinformation created by a hostile agency, the Russian Directorate of Military Intelligence, the GRU. This operation corrupted the mindset of more than a third of Americans. It was successful in generating so many false narratives that most journalists looked in the wrong direction, not just for the origins of the attack, but to determine Russia's objectives. In my first Trump-Russia scandal book, The Plot to Hack America, How Putin's Cyber Spies and WikiLeaks Tried to Steal the 2016 Election, I accurately predicted the strategy, tactics, players, and foreign intelligence operations that worked to put Donald Trump into the presidency. And I did it six weeks before the 2016 election. Two years later, the Mueller report, a House Intelligence Committee report, a Joint Intelligence Community report, and a Senate Intelligence Committee report all validated every assertion I made. They Want to Kill Americans also has disturbing links to my 2018 book, The Plot to Destroy Democracy, How Putin and His Spies Are Undermining America and Dismantling the West in which I present cooperative links between Russian-backed European far-right extremists and the new American alt-right. The alt-right is a hodgepodge of American hatred, an unglued assemblage of racist and anti-Semitic neo-Nazis, fascism-loving white supremacists, white evangelical dominionists, and dead-ender southern neo-Confederates. The alt-right had its international coming out in Charlottesville, Virginia on August 11th and 12th, 2017, at the Unite the Right rally. Their aim, to show the world America had a serious fascist army that would bring this country into the fight to defend the white race. The right-wing extremists first held a torch-lit night march reminiscent of the Nazis' Nuremberg rallies. The next day, they tore into the lines of liberal protesters and a melee ensued. One alt-right militant drove his car into a crowd of protesters and killed a young woman named Heather Heyer. 
the youth wing of the conservative movement had made its mark. By evening, all of America, and by extension, the world, knew who the alt-right were. At the time, they were all unabashed supporters of President Trump. But the love was not publicly or openly reciprocated until the day of Heather Heyer's death. President Trump knew who they were. They were Trump voters. Instead of condemning their actions, he called them very fine people. Um, the savageness of why? the national rejection stunned Trump, but it also stunned the alt-right. Seemingly overnight, even the limited public support for their activities disappeared. However, the violence did not. Over the next two years, flashes of their pro-Trump extremism would emerge. A series of attacks on synagogues in Pennsylvania and California that killed Jews. An anti-immigrant mass shooting in Texas that massacred Mexican-Americans. The mailing of 16 fans, pipe bombs to the Democratic Party leadership in an attempted assassination by Caesar Sayoc, an unabashed Trump supporter. Remove from bookmarks button. <laughs> wow. First of all, this quote from Trump is bullshit. It's the same one that the mainstream media news has been propagating. Everybody knows that there was more to that statement than that, and that is not what the content of the statement meant at all. Number two, there is no alt-right army of people going around and doing anything. If there was, we would have long ago taken down the corruption in this country. The alt-right, if there is such a thing, is not at all what this guy's perception is. This guy has got to be some sort of antifa -tard. And I'm, I'm going to go on here for a second and just continue. This is uh, the description. Collapse. So. Read more. Button. Let's, let's expand it. Let, let it read the description. New York Times bestselling author Malcolm Nance offers a chilling warning on a clear, present, and existential threat to our democracy. Our fellow Americans. To varying degrees, as many as 74 million Americans have expressed hostility towards American democracy. Their radicalization is increasingly visible in our day-to-day -day life, in neighbors or family members, open discussion of bizarre conspiracy theories reveling in the fantasy of mass murdering the liberals they believe are drinking the blood of children. These are the results of the deranged series of lies stoked by former President Donald Trump, made worse by the global pandemic. Total bullshit. First of all, that's just ridiculous. That's not the narrative that anybody with any brains thinks about. We're worried about child trafficking. We're about worried about the drug trade out of Mexico. We're worried about the things that Hillary Clinton was doing with the creepy lady years ago that looked like satanic rituals. And the fact that we know that a lot of people in the government have some really creepy things that they like to do. And we know for a fact that there is Epstein. And who was on Epstein's planes? And who went to the island? So, this is a twisted narrative. There's a lot more to it than this guy is... Okay, before I even go any farther, did you listen to him, him and what he said? He was all about who he was and how he wrote this and he did that and best-selling blah, blah, blah. And he sounds like a giant narcissist. <laughs> Number one. Let's read the second par or third paragraph here. The first steps of an American fracture were predicted by Malcolm Nance months before the January 6, 2021 insurrection, heralding the start of a generational terror threat greater than either Al-Qaeda or the Islamic State. <laughs> Nance calls this growing unrest the Trump insurgency in the United States or Titus. Titus? <laughs> play, uh, play, uh, play audible sample. Lord. The, fir the, post the first steps of an American fracture were predicted by the post-2020 election urge to return to a place of normalcy to forget is the worst response we can have. American militiamen, terrorists, and radicalized political activists are already armed in mass numbers and regularly missed in the media principally because Trump's most loyal and violent foot soldiers benefit from the ultimate privilege being white. Oh, wow. Like, that's a privilege in this country. Really? The ultimate privilege being white. How is that a privilege? I am no different from you, but I'm Jewish on one side of my family. Does that make me not white? According to some people, it does. He thinks there's an anti-Semitic faction of the alt-right. But being a Jewish person and being a Trump supporter and being conservative and being a constitutionalist, 
how does that fit together? Do you even have a concept of who you're talking about, dude? No. Obviously, he does not. They want to kill Americans as the first detailed look into the heart of the active Trump-led insurgency, setting the stage for a second nationwide rebellion on American soil. This is a chilling and deeply researched early warning to the nation from a counterterrorism intelligence professional. America is primed for a possible explosive wave of terrorist attacks and armed confrontations that aim to bring about a Donald Trump-led dictatorship. <laughs> oh, God, what a joke. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Play audible sample. Play audible sample. Here to the reviews for a Button. second. Now listen to these. First of all, listen to look at the tags I'm going to show you here. The Read reviews that mention. Heading three. These are the reviews that mention, and then let's, let's see here. Malcolm Nance, United States, right wing, want to kill. Like read the Civil War. Read this book. Like Civil War. Proud Boys. Link. Proud Boys. Highly recommend. Link. Various groups. Collapsed. Top for kill Americans. Link. Every American. Link. Book for our library. Link. Yeah, this book does not go go in libraries. This is collapsed. Except Top if reviews. it's an example Menu pop -up button. of lies and deception, because already in the in the pre amble there, the the little sample, he's already telling you total crap that's not even true. But you know, that's how they work. They think that they can grab enough people with their lies and deception, and enough people are out there brainwashed. They can get you all twisted up. If you're brainwashed, you'll believe anything they tell you. Let's do this one here. Let's see what this review, make sure it doesn't continue on and that it's all here. Well, well. Give me one second. Collapsed. Toggle full review text. Button. Amazon.com. They want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology collapsed. Toggle full review text. Button. Well, this is all too informative about how we got here, where we're heading, reported view, it's well, this is all too informative about how we got here, where we're heading, and what is coming our way if we don't make some changes. The problem is how to change when huge swaths of the population refuse to engage in meaningful discussions. And I mean that seriously. Malcolm Nance clearly outlines every single aspect of what brought us to this point. We refuse to engage in serious discussions. We have been trying to engage in serious discussions with people since 2015. But instead, all they can come back with is bigot, racist, rapist, right, alt-right, MAGA, maggot. I even got Trumpy C-word blasted at me. And then when I told the person that he needed to come up with a better dialogue to hold a conversation, and this was not an argument or a debate state that they could actually win, I got banned. From Facebook for three, three days. I mean, really. Okay. You don't really have anything to stand on. That's why we can't talk to you. All you do is call names. Well, this is all too informative about how we got here, where we're heading, and what is coming our way if we don't make some changes. The problem is how to change when huge swaths of the population refuse to engage in meaningful discussions. And I mean that seriously. Malcolm Nance clearly outlines every single aspect of what brought us to this point. And he does so with a multitude of cited sources that can easily be verified. Yeah. Heck, we lived through the vast majority of them, so we should be able to remember them ourselves. But it seems that we're among those who refuse to. Or those who romanticize the brutal hatred that came before now. And those who think... Brutal hatred. How is there brutal, brutal hatred? The, the, the hatred in this country has been perpetrated by things like BLM and Antifa. There has been no proud boys going out there and burning buildings down and killing people. And to top it off, January 6th is a crumbling narrative. It's ridiculous. All that we wanted was for Pence to send the slate of electors back to the legislation of the state they came from and have it investigated. That was all it was about. And the Capitol Police let the people in the rotunda. It's on video. I've seen it. Not to mention the fact that every time this topic is brought up, I will go and show you the video that I made a few days before January 6th. And it was talking about how it was very important to know that going there, there was going to be Antifa there. It had been announced. I had received some information from one of my people on my 
YouTube channel specifically stating that Antifa people were going there to pose as Trump people. And if you go on band.video, you can watch the video of those people marching up and down the street wearing identical MAGA gear and talking in a state that no MAGA person has ever done. I've never seen a MAGA group of people marching, screaming, whose streets are streets, whose streets are streets. That's not our chant. We might chant USA, but we're not chanting whose streets are streets. That's Antifa. And they're so stupid that they use their own chants to try to mask themselves as us. Are you kidding me? The level of intelligence is just so low. So, so low. Okay, so we're going to check to make sure this one doesn't have extras on it. All right, we're going to go ahead. Malcolm Nance is a true hero who has devoted his life to public service and all that is good in the world. He just returned from the front lines in Ukraine when instead he could have been at home comfortably enjoying his life. But Mr. Nance or Shouty Ems. <laughs> he just returned. He just returned from the front lines of the Ukraine. Oh my God. Really? Are you serious? Malcolm Nance. I've heard nothing but stuff about how this guy is nothing but a farce to start with. Let's continue to read Malcolm that. Malcolm Nance is a true hero who has devoted his life to public service and all that is good in the world. He just returned from the front lines in Ukraine when instead he could have been a... Uh, this work of non... Let's go here. This work of nonfiction is Amazon.com. They want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology of the Trump insurgency. Audible audio edition. Malcolm Nance, Ari Flyagos, Macmillan Audio Books. Webview. This work of nonfiction is truly eye-opening. I have never delved into the world of domestic terrorism, international affairs, or politics before. Nance's writing is informative, educational, and gives fundamental background information ensuring that all readers can understand his work. A chilling warning, this book provides factual information, complete with citations about our current domestic threats in the United States of America. Malcolm Nance is a counterterrorism and national security expert, and his excellent writing makes him the go-to author on these topics. I truly enjoyed every moment of this book. It is the perfect length, not so long that it loses your interest, but long enough that it gives you all details and facts. I highly recommend all Americans, regardless of race, gene or party affiliation, etc., to read this work. I feel entirely more educated and feel grateful for his insight into today's world. I will definitely be purchasing Nance's other works, and I'm looking forward to learning even more from him. So he's, grab he's grabbed another person that is easily brainwashed. Very sad. And see, that's the problem right there. Just in the sample alone, he lied like three times. Straight up. And... He sounded like nothing but a perpetual narcissist promoting his other books and saying, I'm a definitive, you know, authority on this particular topic because I did this. What? What? Uh, ridiculous. The truth is very scary. This book should be required reading for every true American. Yeah, you have a choice. to show exactly you can be a patriot, what the... Or you can be a terrorist. Don't be a terrorist. Brainwashed or freaking there we are not terrorists the only terrorists have been blm and antifa and the government run by the deep state those are the terrorists in light of the january 6th investigation it is much easier to take seriously the potential consequences of the trump loving malcontents they will probably try again if they do we must insist that they be punished to the maximum that which the law permits <laughs> how about the government needs to be punished how about nancy pelosi how about Joe Biden? How about Obama? How about Hillary? How about punishing some of the people that actually have done the dirty deeds to this world? And I'm not just talking about this country, but this world. What a read. Wow. I could not put this book down once I started. Once you start reading, you are hooked and need to continue in order to find out more. It moves along at really great pace, which made for a great read. The more you read, the more you are sucked into it and need to see what happens next. This is a book that you need to read. You will not be sorry that you did. Now, I have a free credit on here. Maybe I should buy it and do a review on it afterwards. I don't know. I probably couldn't stand to listen to the lies. It would make me nauseated and I'd probably vomit. This book is a deep dive into America's current state of affairs, how we got here, especially over the past six years, and where we might be headed as a country. I heard Mr. Nance on a talk radio segment discussing his newest book, and it sounded so relevant to today's political landscape and the state of our country that I immediately added it to my to-read list. A former U.S. Navy senior chief petty officer specializing in naval cryptology, Mr. Nance is an undisputed expert in national security and intelligence. 
In his newest book, he meticulously details the rise of hate groups and conspiracy theories, then chillingly lays out the danger they could pose to the future of our democracy. Although the tone is a bit sensational at times, overall they want to kill Americans is a thoroughly researched, credible, and compelling read, albeit a bit dense at times. This important book is highly recommended for anyone interested in American politics and current events. An excellent resource that details the rise of the insurgency in America. It explains it in a manner that is simple to understand for the average reader. It is a great guide that prepares people to form informed opinions about the state and future of the political parties. Yeah, good for simple-minded people who don't know anything about what top really of, is going on. From other country, top reviews from other countries. Malcolm Nance writes in clear, direct language about the forces that led to the January 6th insurgency, more than a year before it happened. He used extremists' words in their own forums and safe spaces to predict their actions. He breaks down the groups that came together on that day, their similarities and subtle differences between them. Great, but very depressing. Read. Oh. Anyway, I figured everybody needed to know that this garbage was out there. And um, if you want a good laugh or you want to get just super angry at some idiot that doesn't know his Read and butt listen. Heading to. from his hole in the ground. Um, because straight up, I'm going to play this one more play time at the end here. And I want you to listen. Button. If you're an informed patriotic American, a MAGA Trump supporter, you will know that 90% of everything he says in this little excerpt here is either him boasting about himself or manipulated data and lies. Oh, yeah, and he says five people died at the Capitol. Um, no, that's not true at all. There was a MAGA supporter that was killed, and there was a woman who was beaten to death. Two women, as a matter of fact, who were, who were killed. The rest of the people... The police officers, there's something shady behind their deaths. Every single one of them. And it's been proven that m most of them died of what they consider natural causes. Things that didn't have anything to do and didn't occur actually on the 6th. But this guy's going to use any narrative he can to create their little fake show one more time for posterity they were primed to become insurgents in a low-grade civil resistance as predicted they started with an act of blatant insurrection based on trump's seditious words his supporters attacked the u.s capitol building on january 6th 2021 with the intent to stop the certification of the election by force most came to storm the building and to stop the vote. Others may have come to hunt and possibly kill Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Only a miracle in the bravery of the Capitol Hill and Washington, D.C. police officers prevented there being more than the five deaths that resulted that day. Play pause 418. Button. Okay, number one. Nobody was hunting anybody. I mean, what about Ray Epps? I wonder if Ray Epps is in this man's book. Probably not. But the main person inciting this was doing this the day before and a couple days before, caught on video, trying to incite people to go into the Capitol. And you've always, no matter what side you are on, you always have a few people who are so misinformed and mentally ill to some degree or another that will fall for a Ray Epps. Will fall for an Antifa. Will fall for somebody who is perpetrating violence. That small, small faction, less than 0.0000001% of a population of people who are MAGA supporters, constitutionalists, conservatives, and Trump supporters in general, is so minute that it doesn't even have weight to be shown as an actual number. Cosplaying three period. In my role as a counterterrorism expert on MSNBC News, I have up. a track record of offering well-grounded warnings based on intelligence analyses that have proved uncanny in their accuracy. Okay. There is a reason for that. As an intelligence professional, I don't guess. 
My work is years ahead of most media investigations I am so good. because Pat I collect me hard data and analyze events through the lens of my 30 plus years of intelligence community experience. I've got so much experience. My career in monitoring, tracking, and destroying foreign threats to America gives me the ability to call out risks and incoming challenges that might not reveal themselves easily to others. That body of knowledge and a natural alacrity at detecting the right pattern means I identify risks faster, more accurately, and with greater depth than the average journalist or amateur web sleuth. <laughs> in July 2016, I was the first oh, person in U.S. news joke. media to warn that the United States was under attack through a massive political warfare operation using foreign disinformation created by a hostile agency, the Russian Directorate of Military Intelligence, the GRU. This operation corrupted the mindset of more than a third of Americans. It was successful in generating so many false narratives that most journalists looked in the wrong direction, not just for the origins of the attack, but to determine Russia's objectives. In my first Trump Russia scandal book, The Plot to Hack America, How Putin's Cyber Spies and WikiLeaks Tried to Steal the 2016 Election, I accurately predicted the strategy, tactics, players, and foreign intelligence operations that worked to put Donald Trump into the presidency. And I did it six weeks before the 2016 election. Two years later, the Mueller report, a House Intelligence Committee report, a Joint Intelligence Community report, and a Senate Intelligence Committee report all validated every assertion I made. No, they didn't. They Want to Kill Americans also has disturbing links to my 2018 book, The Plot to Destroy Democracy, how Putin and his spies are undermining America and dismantling the West, in which I present cooperative links between Russian-backed European far-right extremists and the new American alt-right. The alt-right is a hodgepodge of American hatred, an unglued assemblage of racist and anti-Semitic neo-Nazis, fascism-loving white supremacists, white evangelical dominionists, and dead-ender southern neo-Confederates. The alt-right had its international coming out in Charlottesville, Virginia, on August 11th and 12th, 2017, at the Unite the Right rally. Their aim? To show the world America had a serious fascist army that would bring this country into the fight to defend the white race. The right-wing extremists first held... Amazon.com. They want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology of the Trump insurgency. Audible Audio Edition. Malcolm Nance, Ari Flyakos, Macmillan Audio Books. Webview. So, after I post this... Should I read this and give a critique? Should I spend hours puking? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and share. And follow me at Patriot Poet 1776 on Rumble, Getter, Gab, Truth Social, and uh, hopefully this doesn't get banned from YouTube because it's going up there in about two minutes. Let's just say everybody needs to go over here and, and, and uh, rate this book as lies. They want to kill Americans, the militias, terrorists, and deranged ideology of the Trump insurgency audible or goatable audiobook on a bridge. Heading one. Uh, deep state propaganda at its best. Zero hundred hours, 28, three extra unlabeled button.